try that penetrator round? I love to see it. So far, we've never had anything go through our level three egg at 1,600 feet per second. This penetrator round, God only knows. I get this thing back to the shop, we'll cut it open and uh, I'll post the pictures. inches from the edge of the shield. See what it did? There's 72 layers of dynema. And what it did is it actually pushed itself out the side, which That's is what you'll- happen on a center shot. Which is, well, this is something to think about with all your shields. I mean, it truly is. When you're, when you're stacking your guys up on the sides and he's hiding himself behind this much of the shield, this is literally more than likely what this is where you're hiding behind. This is the protection that you got. So from, like the NIJ is saying, three inches from the side will, is, is, is actually a void of the, of the shot. But that's actually something good to see. It, it, will, it will come out the side. I, well, I mean, just like I say, just, just, just know that when you're, when you're using your shields like that, all along this edge here, where it's all bonded around itself, so it breaks the composite up, and that's where it's drawing all the energy out of the shot, too. Most of, the, most of the shields that you see out there don't have this encapsulation process. This is what we're doing, and it actually holds it a little bit deeper. So with, see that side shot right there? If, you, if this wasn't encapsulated, and that actually, how, they, how most of the guys are doing is they're putting polyethylene plastic on the front, and they're putting canvas on the back, and they're taking the black core trim, and they're sticking it on the edge, and that's how they're, that's their transition. So without this encapsulation process, this is what the way the whole edge of the shield will do right there. Well, it, we're building we're building one for for the city of St. Petersburg that is on wheels and it has lights and everything on.